Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gian, and today I'm gonna to talk about all things black cake. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, a few weeks ago, I asked you guys what burning questions you had regarding making black cake. Now, Christmas is upon us, and I know it's on everybody's mind. Like, I've seen the spike on my blog for black cake. So, I've shared a recipe before. There's a video on this channel. There's a recipe on my blog, and I still get questions. So I figure I'll take just a few of your questions and I'll answer it and hopefully I can help you guys be able to make black cake at home for the holidays. So let's get started and I am going to start with the first question. This is a very popular question and it is what is the minimum time to set the fruits? Now let me just start by saying I'm not a professional but I've been doing this a little bit and I do have some insight from my mom who is the best black cake maker. So, and I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm going to say this. You don't need to set your fruits for a year. Now, keep in mind, I do set my fruits for a year just because I'm a traditionalist. It's tradition, and I'll probably continue to do it that way. But let's say for some reason you forget to set, set your fruits, all is not lost. The main purpose of setting the fruits with the alcohol is to infuse the fruits with the flavor of the alcohol. And I find a month and a half, maybe maybe two months is great. It's more than enough time to do that. Now, if you're in a bind, we're two weeks, just about two weeks out from Christmas. And if you're in a bind, there's another method that you can use that'll work. I've done both. I've set my food for a year and I've done this method and both taste just as good. And that is to simmer the fruits in alcohol. And I use a combi, I, well, this time I'm using a combination of rum, port, and a splash of cherry brandy. And I just let it simmer for about half an hour. And this not only infuses the fruits, but it plumps up all of the fruits and makes it soft so it's easy to blend. Let it cool completely and then store it in a glass container that's been tightly sealed and place in a cool place. I put it in my pantry, leave it there for about a week, and then you're good to go. So all of that is to say is that if you're a week, week and a half out of Christmas, all is not lost. You can still enjoy black cake because I don't know about you, Christmas is not Christmas without pepper pot and black cake. But that's just me. What type of alcohol do you use? I like a boozy cake and if you check my last video you'll see that. It may not be for everyone and that's fine. You know I use rum, sometimes use a little bit of spice rum. You can also use port, um, a sweet wine, red label wine, pretty common. Um, you can also use a splash of cherry brandy. People, people love that as well. Gives it a little bit more, you know, not a little bit more but a different flavor. Um, but honestly, I don't have a brand that I use. Truth be told, I go to the liquor store and I'm like, what's your cheapest bottle of gold rum? And that's, that's how I pick. <laughs> so typically the rum I use costs about five to $10. So save your good rum for drinking, okay? Don't put it in the cake. All right, next question. Is it easy to make? I find it to be pretty easy to make. I. <laughs> The steps are very easy. Overall, it may seem intimidating, but it's not. The average person can do this. I think you just have to take your time, read the steps, try not to get overwhelmed. If you can make a cake, you can make, you can make this. And I try to make my instructions as simple as possible so that the average person can do this at home. Simple, efficient, um, give you measurements and everything just so you're able to execute this at home. So yes, I do think it is fairly easy to do. Now, another question that I have is, do you put breadcrumbs in black cake? Now, personally, I've never heard of using breadcrumbs in black cake, so that's a no. Now, let me know below in the comments if you use, black, um, if you use breadcrumbs in black cake. And um, Guyana is not the only country that makes black cake, you know, through the Caribbean, and it originates from England, so there are a lot of different versions. My household, we don't make it with breadcrumbs, somebody may so let me know if you heard of this method you've had it this way what is it like can i buy fruits in the store well i'm guessing this person is referring to already mixed fruits with the alcohol and everything in it and the answer is yes luckily i was able to pick up this container and i'm going to insert it here of fruits from my local guyana store and this comes from guyana it is actually made with carabola and back in guyana that's how we used to make at least back in the days that's how my mom 
would make her black cake with the carambola, um, five finger, also known as star fruit. But I live in Georgia and I was able to find it in my store. My mom lives in New York. She's able to find it there as well. If you're not in a city that may have a store like that, you can also check the internet. That's the great thing about it now. You can easily hop onto the internet, do a quick search, and have it at your door in just a few days. So I would highly recommend looking at the internet. How do you keep the cake moist? Now, let me tell you. My mom makes black cake from the beginning of December and she has it all the way through until January. And her cake is so moist, so good. I, I'm not overselling, like it really is. And what she does is every couple of days, she'll just add, you know, just when the cake seems like it's about to dry out, you add a little capful of whatever liquor you're using, whether it's rum, port, you add a little capful over the cake and let the cake absorb it. And also you have to keep it wrapped. Keep it wrapped in cling wrap or foil, preferably cling wrap, and just wrap it tightly. Don't let it sit out and just be exposed to air because once it's exposed, all of the moisture is gonna be drawn out from the cake and it's gonna be dry. So, and we don't want dry black cake. I don't know about you, but I don't. Okay, so I've had questions over the years about how to make a non-alcoholic version of black cake. And if you're not gonna use alcohol, you need to replace it with something that's gonna hydrate the fruits. And a great substitute for the alcohol is grape juice. So soak it in grape juice, same way you would soak with rum. Of course, you don't need to let it sit for a year. You just need the fruits to plump up, become soft, hydrated, so then you can puree it and place it into your cake. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it here because I, I don't want it to be too long, but if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel, follow me over on Instagram at GNCanCook, and be sure to check out my blog, GNCanCook.com, and I'll see you next time.